Well, welcome back to day number four of my seven day, week long food adventure here at Disney Springs. I have been really, really, really enjoying myself. STK was fantastic yesterday. Everything's been good, but that was really a crazy meal. I felt so full for like the entire day. We're going now to eat at a place that I've also wanted to eat at for quite a while, Wine Bar George. I looked at the menu, I'm definitely excited to get over there and try a few different things. Technically tomorrow, Disney opens up all the Disney owned things here at Disney Springs. So, I think this is the last day we're gonna see Disney Springs kind of at this capacity. Very, very light crowds. Beautiful day again today, cloud coverage is nice. I'm here before the rain here a little bit earlier than I have been the past few days so let's jump right into it get some some of that crispy B roll and enjoy the tunes Thank you. 
So as with many of the restaurants here in Disney Springs right now, everything's QR codes. Some people have paper menus, some people don't. I like the QR code. I think it's such an easy, simple, effective way to just like scan it, see what you're getting into. Everybody's got a smartphone nowadays. Plus, it saves the planet a couple trees. So I have a good idea of what we're getting into here. I just have to decide on something to drink first. All right, so one of the things I've been not doing as of recently, definitely with these food reviews, is just sitting down and enjoying the food in a way that I'm like talking to you about it. Not really just kind of like, here's where I'm going, here's the food, here's one bite of it, or something like that. This, we're gonna describe all these too. Another thing I've been slacking on big time is describing these. This is a Friesling. It's made with Dole Whip, lime Dole Whip, so that's a winner, because it screams like Polynesian vibes, the key lime Dole Whip margarita. It's made with Riesling, vodka, and lime. Riesling, nice sweet wine, vodka, my favorite spirit on earth. I think this is going to be a winner. Although they gave me a straw, which I should probably drink it with a straw. Another thing I, oh. Oh, they're agave. The straws are like agave straws. Huh. You can actually taste the wine in here. That is not something I would have thought. We're gonna really mix it up. Although it's a blended drink, I don't really think you need to, but I really taste it like wine. Yeah. Huh. How about that? But you can definitely taste the Dole Whip. The key lime Dole Whip, it's got that very distinct flavor. But you can totally taste like the butteriness of the Riesling. It's cool. Wow, these meatballs right here smell amazing. They come over a triple cheese polenta. It's got a nice blend. You can taste there's some sausage in there. The sauce, super nice, hearty. The cheese, rather polenta with the cheese is really nice as well. Tons of fresh chopped basil on here, so it's got all the right notes that you want from something like a little perfect Italian dish. Wow. It's not every day that you get something served to your table that's uh, super duper on fire like that. That was a very, very cool experience. I would not want to work here literally for that one reason, because it would scare me to death to be blasting a fire like that table side. So props to our server Katrina. She is a brave soul. This meatballs are incredible, but I think it's safe to say, it's time to try this cheese. Well, holler to AJ from Disney Food Blog, because if it wasn't for her, I wouldn't be here. Wait, what? What did I just eat? Hold the phone, hold the phone. That was not at all what I expected. I was expecting something cheesy, like this polenta that I'm having, or a bucket of cheese. But that's not what you get here. All right, so right off the rip, the, the lemon. The lemon that she squeezed on at the end is like this huge note right in the front of your mouth. Like right in the front of this bite, you're getting a ton of like zest. And because the cheese got like 
flambéed like that. It's got a texture that's just like so not like anything I've ever had before. It's like a pancake of cheese. I don't know, this is, I, I gotta tell you, this is probably one of the most unique things I've ever eaten in my life. And I would, I couldn't suggest coming here more and trying this out. I mean, this is really cool. I'm gonna put some on this Christine here. Just keep deep diving because I'm shocked at how good this is. So, the Cristini, although it's nice, is kind of defeating the texture of this that makes it so unique. You're adding in so much crunch with that crustini compared to just that flat, like, always, like I said, almost pancake texture of just the cheese. And these are buttered too, so it adds even more of kind of a rich flavor. Two thumbs up all around. I'm really like shocked at how this was one of the most interesting things I've ever eaten in my entire life. I do want to make a quick point about this drink right here. Obviously, you know, one of my all time favorite things. Shout out to that guy. One of my all time favorite drinks on Disney World property is the Key Lime Dole Whip Margarita at the Polynesian Pool Bar. This is, in a lot of ways, a lot like that. But I have to say, the swapping out of the, re of the Riesling and vodka for what is the liqueur and the tequila makes this way more refreshing. Like if you wanted to just cool off and have something to drink, like this is where you, this is it. But the margarita is more of a complete drink because it's got that crazy habanero salt on it. So like you get. It's just the flavor profiles that are all over the place, but I have to tell you that this is so good to know that something like this exists. Something within the same kind of family, you could say, as that other drink. There's also this, which is the basket. It's pretty much the to-go spot for Wine Bar George, and it looks like some of those drinks that were up there are available to go, and some of those small dishes that I had are available to go. Not that flame and cheese, though. That experience, I, although you can maybe even get it outside, you'd have to go upstairs and actually have, you know, your server light it on fire for you. I had a great time here at Wine Bar George today. Really, really great time. My server was super nice. Everybody was really friendly. Yeah, I, uh, I'm, so, I'm so happy to have had this week to be able to come here and do this kind of food challenge. We're on day four. We've got three days left. I hope you guys have been enjoying it as much as I have been. Let's have a little bit of uh, music change, shall we? I'll see you at my car.
all these cast members inside the world of Disney Store getting trained up for the reopening tomorrow. So that's pretty awesome. Good signs of things to come. So like I was saying, obviously tomorrow is the first day that all of these Disney operated stores are running. Stitch has been spitting his uh, spit all week out here. The cast members are getting retrained in there. Very cool, I cannot wait. There it was, that was the shot I was looking for, the water down onto the camera. That was perfect, good job, Stitch. Well, that's it, that's a wrap for day number four of the seven day food challenge. I'll be back here tomorrow, everything will be opening up. It's gonna be a very exciting day. I cannot wait to go into the ganachery and the Lego store and the world of Disney and oh my God, so many places I just wanna walk into just to see again. So having said that guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you smash that like button down there. Give me a comment down below. Have you been to Wine Bar George before? If you did, what did you think? What did you have? Let me know down in the comments. I hope you guys are staying healthy, staying safe, staying sane. Also, Disney will be announcing tomorrow when they're reopening. So I think that normal, or at least some kind of form of normal is right around the corner. We'll have plenty to talk about tomorrow. I'll see you guys then.